What up guys, welcome back to the GTR vlog. Uh, we are doing more work on the car tonight. Behind me, Javi is here taking the wheels off because tonight it is time for brakes and rotors and everything else we can get done. Let's see what, how far we get. Um, these my wheels are off. Brembo brake calipers, R33 brakes are going on. Uh, DBA slotted rotors, thank you to Throttle for helping me out with those. And uh, let's get to it. All right guys, these are the OEM brakes. These are the brakes that you get from Nissan. They are Sumitomo brakes. They say Nissan on them. Nothing that special about them, believe it or not. These sell for quite a bit of money these days for what they are, uh, if they're cleaned up nice. So maybe I'll do that. But uh, on to the Brembo's. Let's get it going. All right, the rotors we went with are the DBA club spec rotors. Sean liked these, recommended them. They look about 55,000 times better, so that's cool. Uh, looks clean, looks nice. These are gonna look sick on the car, much better than those. All right, so these are the old calipers and rotors. These are the Brembo R33 ones that are going on. Gonna look a lot better, nice and mean, with the black on black. All right, so the rear brake is on. If you're asking yourself, do these calipers clear the shield? The answer is, yeah, they do. Um, it's a little bit of concern that we might have to shave that off like we did on my Supra, but these actually fit right on. And we've got the Brembo R33 brake mounted up there, so we are moving right on. All right, back to our mess making as usual here, but we've got the rear calipers, rotors on, looking really, really good, but these fronts, these front Brembos are where it's at. If you remember the stock brakes from earlier in the video, not super cool. These look super clean. They're gonna look really good with the black LMG T4s. Gotta do the other side. Put these wheels on. Do a little side by side here. This is the old one, Sumitomo one. There's the Brembo. Uh, the Brembo is a little bigger, a little cleaner, a lot nicer, much more stopping power than uh, this crusty one. But these are actually really good brakes. Um, Sean runs these still on his Nismo, the OEM brake, the super aggressive pad. Plenty of stopping power on just being extra, and I want something black. All right, guys, the brakes are on. They look great with the wheels. I know they're gonna be a million times better than the stock Sumitomo brakes that we had on before. Again, they're Brembo's. These are not super cheap. Uh, they're gonna set you back probably a couple thousand. Um, I've seen them on eBay for closer to 1200 for a set used, uh, in which case you need to refinish them kind of like I did there. Uh, these just got repainted by a guy that works here named Lewis. Um, he is a painter by trade. He was able to tape them off. I ordered the new stickers on Amazon. They were like $5. Um, the rotors from DBA. Uh, not cheap, about $800. So uh, on this one, we're in it for, what is that, like maybe $2,000 plus paint and labor uh, for the brakes, which is a deal compared to what I spent on the Supra. One thing we do have left to do is to bleed the brakes. Don't drive, bleed the brakes. Uh, once it's done, we'll have the stopping power that I need for ours day, so hyped on that. So going over what this one cost, Again, the calipers, uh, if you can find them um, by doing a lot of looking on eBay or something, you can pick them up for like around $1,200 for the set, but for the most part, they're pretty expensive. Um, if you wanna buy something right away, expect to spend probably at least two grand for something used, and then still need to get them repainted, like Lewis did for me. And then on top of that, you're gonna need rotors. Uh, the rotors I chose, um, 
are pretty cost effective. They're DBA slot and rotors, really good stuff out of Australia, but still not cheap, about $200 a rotor. Again, with some shopping around, some discounts, et cetera, you can get them uh, for a little bit less, You know, maybe 150 rotor. This is something that Throttle hooked me up with price-wise. Uh, it wasn't free, but they did give me a great deal on it. So shout out to my homies at Throttle for uh, helping me out with that. Other things you'll need are steel lines for your brakes. Uh, my car already had them on it and they were in good condition so I didn't need to buy those but you will need to buy them if your car does not have it on there. Uh, and then just the paint and the caliber stickers which I ordered on Amazon. They were pretty cheap, it's like $5. So that completes our brake setup for today. Now we're moving on to the interior. We've been putting the inside back together. We've got some cool seat covers and um, some stereo equipment so we can listen to some music. Be putting all of that in next and moving on to finishing up the engine and making sure things run and putting all the cool little details on uh, that I've stockpiled over the years and we'll get into that in the final video before ours day, assuming we can make it there. 